which musicians are revered but are actually horrible people. Ivan Moody, lead singer of Five Finger Death Punch. He has a repeated history of violence towards women, including girlfriends, his sister and mom. Ian Watkins. I can never listen to Lost Prophets again thanks to that disgusting filthy low life of a man. The list of musicians who are good people would be smaller. Most people in show business are pieces of shit. John Lennon physically, and emotionally abused his wife and son regularly. So-called lover of peace. I'm surprised no one has mentioned Marvin Gaye. I couldn't listen to his music for a while after I found out about how he treated his wife and women in general. He did some sick, twisted shit. I believe he referred to himself as the last great male chauvinist. Less revered these days but Amy Lee, absolute pile of self-entitled trash and the reason why Evanescence went through so many members. Kid Rock, I do not understand why people like him, he collects confederate memorabilia, I'm southern and I know what that means. Jennifer Lopez. She's a despicable human being that treats service workers like garbage. It's also come to light that she hasn't even sung a great deal of her songs herself. And that which she has sung is not. Great. Even Kath the dude from Crystal Castles. Such a huge pos that he ruined their music for me more than Michael Jackson, John Lennon and Roger Waters combined. Pretty much any rock star from the 60s onwards. It's 99 guaranteed that they screwed under age groupies back in the day. Bowie, Steven Tyler. Kiss, Anthony Cuties and about a dozen more. A lot of them even wrote songs about it, pretty much bragging. A lot of them. There's no better medium that represents separating the art from the artist than music. This is niche, but Johnny Craig. Everyone knows he's a real awful piece of shit. There's video essays out there that lays out his abuse. He is an incredible talent that everyone loves, but the collective fanbase doesn't want to support his awful behavior so he's kinda just imploding. It's one of those situations where it's impossible to separate the art from the artist. Brendan Urie. Used to love his music until the rape allegations came out I opened my eyes and saw how racist he was as well. He finally retired from making music but so many people still come to his defense. Liam and Noel Gallagher from Oasis great band and great music but apparently very full of themselves and very hard to deal with professionally. Look! As someone who listens to a lot of rap and a lot of black metal I just assume all unless proven otherwise. If I'm adding anyone new to the roster they need to pass some background checks first. Lennon was a dick. He mellowed out and tried to be better in his later years, correcting those wrongs, but the damage was already done. Can't really undo history. Till Linda Mon of Rammstein, some nasty details are coming up. Marilyn Manson. Chris Brown. Kanye West. The entirety of FFDP. The list goes on really. Diana Ross' music is loved by many but she is reportedly an absolute diva and is horrible to deal with. Jimmy Page adobated a 14-year-old groupie so he could bring her places to have sex with her. But that groupie said she lost her virginity to David Bowie. Katy Perry for suing that poor mum in Australia for having a brand called Katy Perry since 2007. The mum won but now Katy is appealing. Disgusting. I got a hot take. Some people who suffered from horrible people be it their parents or whoever, not only turn out to be shitty people themselves but it also turns on the need to prove themselves and get out into the spotlight, making them the perfect celebrities. It seems to go hand in hand. So many. Elvis comes to mind. Jerry Lee Lewis. Johnny Cash. Blues guy from STL. All creeps. All would be in jail for being a pedophile Lauren. Guys, next time this line of questioning comes up. Can we please only upvote the comments of people that can actually be fucked to give a reason why? King Von had some amazing storytelling skills for rap. Turns out most of the stuff he said was true which is kinda wild. Ronnie Radke. The guy is wildly talented, but has multiple assault and rape accusations and a couple convictions and is generally known for being a total asshole. Steve Miller. The Black Keys were tasked with introducing him into the Rock Roll Hall of Fame some years ago and they said he was such a miserable asshole the entire time, they left the ceremony as soon as he went on stage to perform. Chuck Berry assaulted multiple women, some of which he pleaded guilty for, was found with CP in his possession at a raid on his home, spied on women in restrooms and a fuck ton of really messed up shit. Oh god I know before checking the comments the lead singer of 30 Seconds to Mars is going to be mentioned 100 times. This guy playing in Requiem for a Dream. Edit Jared Leo. Anthony Kiedis and I'm pretty sure the rest of the band too. He wrote about having relationships with actual children in songs and in his biography. An eclectic list of musical assholes. 1. Ted Nugent. 2. Kid Rock. 3. Nicki Minaj. 
4. Azalea Banks. 5. Eric Clapton. 6. Travis Scott. 7. Kanye. 8. Josh Elm. 9. Nigel Tufnell. 10. Grace Lick.